Huh. Do you have something like this lying around in your home? Do you know exactly what to do with something like this? Have you ever used any of these? Have you ever learned anything from something like this? When you were a child, did anyone use this to teach you? Hey, in this video, let's talk about flashcard games in particular, not just flashcards. I'm going to talk about three essential reasons why I play flashcard games. Let's get right into it and let's take it from the top. So, flashcards. It's a really powerful tool for teaching kids. It comes in various sizes. You can have something like this A5 right here. They are smaller ones. I have something like this. What is this one? This is probably like A6. You know, they come in various sizes and this is used for teaching kids. So basically you have a word or a picture or something on there that the kids can look at and are able to identify exactly what you want to teach them in the particular lesson. Yeah, that's kind of easy. I mean, that takes like a second, a minute or two to finish the whole lesson. If you're going to just use a flashcard, show them and that's it. But you can take this a whole lot further. You can play flashcard games with these. And if you teach kids, you probably are familiar with this. This is something you probably use. Uh, I play flashcard games a lot. And these are the three essential reasons why I play flashcard games. The first and probably the most important reason why I play flashcard games is that it makes it more exciting. It makes the lesson more engaging. The children get more into the lesson if you play flashcard games. Because, I mean, just showing the flashcard and saying Apple and that's it. How interesting is that? But if you're going to have the child say the word and tap the card or say the word and chase after you, try to catch you and get the card or try to clap the card, that makes it more engaging and exciting for the kids. And they are usually more into it if you play flashcard games. So. Very good. Sage, teacher, 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 teacher. Very good. It's not, it's not really easy getting kids to, to be excited in the lesson. If you're, if you're a preschool teacher, you might know what I'm talking about. And to get the children in that energy mood, you have to play some flashcard games. So that is the most essential reason why I use flashcards and I play flashcard games. Now, number two. Why do I play flashcard games? The reason why I play flashcard games, one reason, reason number two, is to get closer to the children and to listen to how they're saying the words or the sentences. So first of all, when I come closer to them, when you interact with the flashcards one-on-one, -on -one, you get to hear closely and clearly how they pronounce the words, and then you can correct them. And also another reason or another level to that is you can, with this, when you play with each, each and every child, you can find the pathing in how they say the words and then you can identify where the difficulty is for all the kids in saying the word or the sentence and then you can correct it in general. So for example, if you have a word like fish and all the children are saying fish, 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 you can correct them one by one, fish, fish, fish. But when you realize the pattern and you realize that the difficulty is at the end, then you can zoom back and then you can correct every child and let them all listen to you and say, it's fish, you know, stress that. So it makes it easier to listen to their pronunciations, find the patterns in where they have difficulty and then correct them so that they can say it properly. That's one reason why I also play flashcard games. Reason number three. Three, why do I play flashcard games? Hmm. Kids learn words very fast sometimes. And then they forget also very fast sometimes. So what is the important thing? Practice. Practice makes, is it perfect or is it permanent? Practice does make permanent. I don't know about perfect though, because there are certain things I've practiced several times and I'm still not perfect with yet, but I know practice does make permanent. So one reason why I play flashcard games is to get the children to say the words over and over, to get them to practice whatever I just taught them. And by practicing, it kind of sticks more, if you know what I mean. And yes, indeed, you know what I mean. So flashcard games, 
it helps the children practice several times whatever I just taught them or whatever you teach them so that it gives them a higher chance or a higher possibility or uh, it makes the propensity for them to remember much better, much higher, however you would say it. So flashcard games are really important if you want to make it easier for your kids to remember what exactly it is you just taught them. To practice, to practice, to practice, practice does make permanent. Play flashcard games. So one extra reason why you need to use flashcard games is class control. I did say three essential reasons why I play flashcard games, but this is also a bonus one for you. And sometimes this works because an interesting lesson is something that gets the children's attention automatically and they're interested in the, in the lesson. So there's technically no time for them to go play around and do something that is not important. So you can also use flashcard games as a way of class control, as a way of controlling your class. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching this one. I didn't know why you play flashcard games, but these are my reasons and they work a lot of the time and they're very essential. If you're teaching kids and you want to see that progress and you want to see that you're making that impact in their lives and they're able to remember all the time, they look forward to your lesson and they're excited, you definitely have to play flashcard games. Thank you for watching this one. I'll catch you in the next one. Love and peace.